So I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. Needs a good trainer to take care of it now. That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. And that's not us. So pretty much just disrespected everything about what we're doing, what we're trying to build and create. And just, just metaphorically slapped us across the face, calling us not a good trainer. So we're going to have to prove it to uh, her and to ourselves and to the whole, whole Kanto region. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 4 of the Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. If you guys didn't catch last episode, we caught two team members, we lost one, we still have Gilko the Weezing. So, let me... Yeah, let's move that, okay. And, uh, I mean, we're still looking okay for... Whenever we gotta battle Misty. And today I'm gonna make it my my life's goal to get to Cerulean City. So I think that's a possibility. We're gonna have to deal with a lot of these like uh, encounters because Yeah, they're I guess they don't sell repels. Wow, we could have Venusaur. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. So, yeah, let's just kind of speed run through this cave. I got, I think, the majority of the items like to, that you kind of got to go out of your way to get. So, not going to go down there. I don't think I got to battle this guy. And... Yeah, I guess with just these wild mons, we can just take them down with wrap. I feel like that's a pretty good way to gain some XP. Electrode. Taking him down. Level 14. I already gained a couple levels this episode, so... Two minutes in, and two levels. That is a great pace. Let's see if uh, it keeps up. So... Wow, there's a lot of different mods here. A lot of different mods. Oh, should not have did that. Be cool to start leveling Gilko up a bit. Could easily be a force later on in this run. So let's see what's over here. Dude. Dude. I mean, like, I feel like I should be a little bit more hyped for that. But, if you guys didn't watch, uh, the Coliseum randomized Nuzlocke, I, uh, have been pretty much swimming in Master Balls, so... I'm a bit desensitized at the moment, but, uh... That is, that is really gonna be useful if we see anything that... Like a legendary, just throw the master ball. Yeah, that's uh, it's big. That's big time. So let's take this polywhirl out. We can probably potion up a bit. We should get some more potions too once we get to cerulean. And you know, guys, I'm. Almost kind of like thinking of like a question of the day, kind of a, uh, like a prompt, I guess, like on the layout. It's because I feel like it helps with, like, engage with a conversation and drives engagement with, uh, myself to all of the viewers, and that's a very important thing to me, and, uh, Definitely. Well, because like I, I, I kind of talked about crypto a bit last episode. I think that was last episode. And it'd be cool to just kind of branch off into other topics like that. But uh, 
I don't know, like, I mean, what, what kind of videos, uh, or hold on, is my, my camera is not working. I don't know how long that's been the case. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, sometimes my camera does that. I, uh, I caught it out of the corner of my eye, and glad I caught it semi-early, so... For sure, let's keep proceeding, let's get through this cave, and we are making some pretty good time actually. My goal was to get to Cerulean before the episode, and it looks like we're going to do that and more. So, I thought there was usually a Team Rocket grunt down there, like down, down and to the left, but maybe that's just in red and blue. Hidden item, Firestone. Okay. And we do gotta battle this guy. I do know that. So, yeah, he wants to hoard those fossils. Well, you best believe we're taking one of those. Uh, that's that's non-negotiable. Okay, so he puts us to sleep. I mean, I guess we can go for Thunder Wave and then we'll go for Wrap. It usually does it, from my experience. Take down the Hypno, and he's about to send out a Gyarados. So we're getting pretty low on rap. Send a Sean out there. Sean will uh, clean the mess up. And just wrap him down. Level 17, looking pretty good. And then we could probably just cram haber, or crab hammer the graveler, and that should one hit KO. I don't think the crit mattered there. Is that like a high, high crit ratio move? Kind of feel like it has to be because we've gotten a lot of crits using crab hammer. So I'll take it either way. And fight me, guys! Fight me! I'm taking the dome fossil. You're you, come on, come on. You, you you guys already know. Taking the dome fossil. Uh, you know. We'll, we'll uh, let him get the helix fossil. I know that's that, that'll probably uh, bring a couple comments. So yeah, I forgot we have uh, Jesse and James at the end. Okay, so for a second I I thought uh, it was like a double battle, but I forgot. Double battles don't even exist yet, so Clefairy should be pretty easy to take down. Probably not this turn. One more. Uh, he does hit the sing though. So let's wait that out. And a tackle should do it. Crit did not matter there. Level 13. So definitely gaining some levels. Let's see. Magmar. Let's just send out Sean. And one cram crab hammer. I keep wanting to call it like cram hammer. Which obviously makes no sense. So... This should take him down, one hit. And yeah, see guys, that's like, at least the second crit of uh, Crab Hammer just this episode. And it looks like we have some revenge coming in from Lord Helix. He's pretty mad that we took the Dome Fossil instead of uh, the Helix Fossil. So, that right there, guys, was yet another crit from Crab Hammer. Let's... Let's do this again. Yeah, no, another crit. I swear, guys. It's a crit every single time. This has to be a high crit ratio move. There's no way around it. So, regardless of what that was, or if we were just getting insanely lucky, maybe I should play the lottery. I don't know. 
we do take out Team Rocket. And Team Rocket, they're blasting off again. They are blasting off again. And now it's our time to get out of this cave. It's been long enough. And this soundtrack goes hard. This, this definitely goes hard. So, you know, for our next encounter, let's just have Sean out there. So we can get an encounter. I thought there was a couple of guys over here who would teach you moves, but maybe that's just in Fire Red. And I think there's some hidden items as well, but I don't know where they're at. Unless, are those guys up here maybe? Well, here's an item. TM26. What's TM26 going to be for us today? Harden? Yeah, we're probably okay on that, champ. We do not need to teach any of our mods Harden. And let's kind of go back here a bit. Not seeing anything. So let's just get another encounter. Let's try to get to five mods on the team. Nothing would make us happier. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. A Bulbasaur. Okay. Okay. Definitely train that up. And let's of course use Thunder Wave. And then I think we can use Rat too. Yeah, that'll that'll get him down a bit. Go one more. Okay, he did leech seed us too. So I think we should go out to Paul. And now now let's try to add him to the team. I think we can add him to the team. And the thing is though, I don't know what I'm gonna call this thing. I feel like that's like a common thing for me right now, cause I swear, if I okay, let's go. We got the bubble sword on the team. Sore's on the squad. Sore is on the squad. So Let's name this thing. Just oh, you know what? This is Fred from the Pokemon Coliseum Randomized Nuzlocke. What am I talking about? Shout out to Fred. Bulbasaur is on the team. So let's see. And I forgot in this game, there's a whole lot of like static mods that we can get too, so that's also something to look out for. And we do want to train Fred up a bit, but before we do anything, there should be a random item behind this house. I think it's, uh, it's like on the right side over here. Super Repel. Okay. We could definitely find a use for that in the future. I think it's a rare candy in the normal games. But... And then, yeah, there's that guy over there in front of Cerulean Cave. I always thought that, like, that was either, like, a big afro or he was, like, uh... What are those, uh... Those British guys? Like, like in the... I don't know, is, is that like their military or... No, it's probably like their police or... Their police or something, like with the big... Big hats. That's always kind of what I thought that was. And it took quite a while for me to realize that... that that's just the cave. So... Let's take on... These couple trainers, get some levels up. Then we might take on Misty as well, so... I feel like that's the move. I didn't check what level her ace is. But we're not gonna get super over-leveled. So, okay. He sends out a Mankey. 
definitely gonna want to dip for that. Send out Gilko. He can do some damage. Okay. And Gilko takes him out here. So, definitely, guys. I'm liking Gilko on the squad. Tangela. I would like to keep him out. I don't think Tangela can do too much. Yeah, Constrict. I think that's like base 15. Yeah. Well, at least Speed Falls in this game for Constrict. Pretty sure they got rid of that. Should probably still stay with, uh... As a move that lowers your speed just because Constrict sucks. So... Not a whole lot of damage at all. We take these though. We will take these. And can we get to level 14? Level 14, we do get it. So. I think there's only one more trainer in here. 80 bucks? That's all we get for beating that guy? That's, that's kind of lame. So, let's heal up. And... Let's take on this other trainer. I, I still would like another couple levels, just because I feel like we're a bit under-leveled for a gym battle. And... Definitely want some challenge, but the thing is, I think either way, there will be some challenge, but... With this way, we're not gonna wipe out, so... I definitely like the idea of not having to restart this game. So, for Kingler, I guess we'll just send out Gilko again, try to get a poison. The thing is, though, Sludge is a physical type move in this game, and I think Krabby's, or uh, Kingler's pretty bulky. So, we do poison him, though. And now we can switch out to maybe Paul. Okay, he just goes for Bubble, that's good. And now watch this, guys. This is gonna be brutal, because I'm gonna hit Wrap, and he's gonna get poisoned every single turn. He can't do anything while he's getting Wrapped, so, you know, we're, we're taking Poison Damage and Wrap Damage is for as long as the turn's lasting. The thing is, though, that kinda hurt. That, ver that Vice Grip definitely hurt, so... Let's see how, how long this will go. Still going. And, okay, ended. Let's potion up. Goes for a leer, but it failed, so that's good. And now, one more wrap should do the job. And we should gain up some levels on really a couple mobs, so... Okay, so we take out Kingler here, and Fred grew to level 11, and no one else? Okay, I thought we'd definitely get another level or two out of uh, more mons and what we did. So here's the deal, guys. If I challenge Misty right now, I don't think I win. So, I think that I should take on the rival and uh, maybe a trainer or two from the Nugget Bridge. Now, I mean, the thing is, though, the rival could be like a really tough challenge, too. So, definitely got to be careful there as well. Now, one other thing I kind of want to mention is I think in this house we can get a static mon. I don't think we can do it yet though. So I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. Needs a good trainer to take care of it now. And that's not us. So pretty much just disrespected everything about what we're doing, what we're trying to build and create. And just just 
metaphorically slapped us across the face, calling us not a good trainer. So, we're going to have to prove it to uh, her and to ourselves and to the whole, whole Kanto region. And I think this right here will be, will be a building block at, uh, of doing that. Okay, that went on long enough. So, level 18 slowpoke. That's pretty steep, not gonna lie. Okay, well, that's not his ace, obviously. So, let's just go with Paul. Let's use Paul to wrap him down. And see how long this takes. It's taking quite a long time. Okay, wrap. Wow, that could have did it. That could have that could have did us in, guys. Uh, switch to Sean. I would rather not switch to him this early. So he must be using like Supersonic or something. I don't think he has Confuse Ray. That's not good, guys. I'm glad I bought potions. Definitely glad I bought some potions. Okay, so... We do hit rep, finally. Slowpoke's down. Slowpoke's down. So, we get the Fred to level 12. My camera stopped working again, guys. I'm gonna have to check out... What is going on with my camera? Do I need more storage? I don't think it's storage. I think I have plenty of storage at the moment. Okay, we're back. You know, I've had a whole lot of technical difficulties these past couple episodes. And the only thing I can blame it on is I'm recording a lot earlier than I normally do. So... It's the only thing that I can think of here. I think he said, I, I think he's switching out to Arbok. So we can keep Sean in. We can keep Sean in. And if we just use Wrap, I think that should do it. It did. And now Raichu. Let's go. Let's get Gilko in on the action. Maybe poison him. So actually, these levelers are, are getting a little bit better. I think he started off at like level 18, down to 15. So we'll take it. Sludge, yeah, that uh, that was a crit, but either way, that was almost a one-hit KO from my boy Gilko. So Gilko's gonna take him out here. We've got to gain a level. We have got to gain a level here. We do. Level 15. So. Now seal. So yeah, this. Easy claps. Easy claps. Uh, finish it off with a tackle. And that's the rival. I swear we had like three crits with Gilko just that battle. So. A lot of crits today, guys. A lot of crits. So far, all on my side. So. Let's. Hope that it stays that way. Okay, so let's just speed that dialogue up. And I kind of wish we had the running shoes. I probably wouldn't be fine to speed up as much if we did have the running shoes. But I'm thinking let's get another battle, maybe two, and on the Nugget Bridge. And then we should be able to take on Misty. That is what I think about it. So, Bug Catcher, whatever his name was, sends out Parasect. It's a pretty good mod. I wonder where he got that so early on in the game. So, does this do neutral? I'm pretty sure this would be neutral damage on Parasect. No, super effective. Okay, I thought that uh, Parasect was part poison type. I thought he was like bug and poison. I guess not. Okay, so then... 
About to send out Sand Slash. Send out Paul. Use Rap. Get him down low HP. And he's spamming Sand Attack. So now we got him though, despite misses from Sand Attack. From Sand Attack. And now let's get one more battle in. I don't think we got a heal up or anything right now. Be cool if we got like an Ivy Sword for this battle. So let's go for Leech Seed and then let's get out of here. Send out Sean. And Crab Hammer should do some good damage. It might crit with all the crits that we've been getting. It does, dude. What's going on? What, what's going on with all these crits? Especially Crab Hammer. But Sludge has also gotten a lot of crits too, so. I mean, I'm hoping my game's not broken. I don't, or maybe, maybe my mods are that fast. I don't know. I don't know. This game is really weird about some things like that, so. Definitely, let's take on this Ponyta with Gilko. Finish him off with a tackle. And, yeah, uh, all of a sudden, we're kind of far, we're kind of deep into the episode. Um, kind of have a choice here to make here, guys. Tell you what. Let's do one more battle. And then let's take on Misty this episode. So probably be a little bit longer of an episode. But it won't be too crazy either. So we can probably leech seed here. And then go out to Gilko. And then the Sludge. I don't think Hyper Fang will do that much. It does not. And wow, we get a crit sludge to take that Raticate out. So. I don't know guys, that's that's a lot of crits in one day. I will say that. So now he's sending out a nine tails. Let's send Paul out. Thunder wave him up. Wrap him down. And that is a relatively easy couple of mods. I think that was two levels he just jumped up there. And now we have Jigglypuff. I mean, Bulbasaur might be able to, you know what, no, not gonna, not gonna risk that. Send Paul back out. Use Wrap, and that does it. That does it for that trainer. I mean, this is still risky, guys. This is really risky. Actually, I have a phone. Let me just check out what level Misty's ace is, and then that's how we're going to decide how we're going to proceed with the remainder of the episode. So Misty, Pokemon Yellow Team, 18 and 21. So, with level 18 and 21, like, I don't think this is it, guys. I think it would be in our best interest to finish off the Nugget Bridge here and take on Misty next episode. I don't want to lose more mods than I have. It's actually been, been a lot of mods I've been losing so far. And haven't been really expecting that so definitely I say let's avoid that and we could probably get another encounter too next episode gotta watch out for that poison okay hey it's still going rep's still going okay time to switch but yeah, we'll we'll definitely 
get another encounter next episode. And then we can also just keep on stacking those levels up. And, uh, I think maybe two encounters actually up here. If I'm not mistaken, I will have to check. Dude, I don't think I grabbed the town map. I did not grab the town map. But the thing is, I don't even know if the town map will show, like, routes in this game. And it might just be a fire red thing. Okay, that was almost scary because I forgot that Paul was poisoned. So, do we have an antidote? No antidotes, but we do have a potion. Okay, so that should probably allow us to get to the Pokemon Center, heal up our Pokemans, and maybe get one, one more battle in on the episode. I like that. I think that goes hard, so. But... Let's see, yeah, let's let's get at least one more one more trainer in. Maybe get some more levels by doing that. And we are proceeding in this game. We're definitely proceeding in the game at an adequate rate. So only one mom here. I mean, might as well leave to see them up. No reason not to do it, so. Send a Paul out there. Use wrap. And yeah, it's uh, a lot of damage with wrap and lead seed. So let's get one more battle in now. And he always. Okay, I wonder if that's actually a nugget. It probably is an actual nugget. For, for some reason, they probably didn't randomize that, so... Just like with... There should be another Master Ball and Saffron that that's not going to get randomized, so that's going to be a Master Ball. So, let's see what we have here. Kabuto. Level 15? I mean, we have a, we have a level 15 Fred. I say, let's Vine Whip him. That's going to be quadruple effective. And it might one-shot. It might one-shot, guys. It does one-shot, so... Let's see what else we're dealing with. Level 16! Level 16, that's looking pretty clean. So... Now we got Weeping Bell. Let's... Let's have Fred out just for the first turn, just to get some XP. And then... We'll send Gyoko out. This either should be super effective or neutral, depending on how the game... I think that's a glitch, guys. It says not very effective, but that either means neutral or super effective. It's... this game is buggy, so... That explains that. That was, that was a lot of damage for some that be not very effective, so I'm not really buying that, so... Anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, definitely smash that like button. Comment down below. And hold on, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Fred's evolving. This is his moment, his time to shine. So, you know what, guys? My camera died again. I'm not even going to fix it, okay? Definitely, though, uh, <laughs> smash that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Help me with this battle against my camera. This is this is insane at this point, guys. So, till next time, peace.